a single acting reciprocating pump running at 50 rpm delivers 0.00736 meter cube per second of water the diameter of piston is 200 mm and stroke length is 300 mm the suction and delivery heads are 3.5 meter and 11.5 meter respectively determine theoretical discharge second slip third power required to run the pump given a single acting reciprocating pump running at 50 rpm n is equal to 50 rpm delivers q is equal to 0.00736 meter cube per second the diameter of piston the diameter of piston is 200 mm that is equal to 0.2 meter and stroke length l is equal to 300 mm that is equal to 0.3 meter the suction and delivery heads hs is equal to 3.5 meter and delivery head hd is equal to 11.5 meter so we have to find to find first is theoretical discharge this is actual discharge we have to find theoretical discharge second slip and third power required to run the pump so formula is formula required for reciprocating pump theoretical discharge q theoretical is equal to area into length into n speed in rpm divided by 60 the 60 is for to convert rpm into rps where a is area area of the cylinder that is a is equal to pi by 4 into d square l is a stroke length n is speed in rpm then slip slip s is equal to q theoretical minus q actual actual discharge minus theoretical discharge minus actual discharge percentage slip is equal to theoretical discharge minus actual discharge divided by theoretical discharge into 100 in total head you have given suction head and delivery head the total head is equal to hs plus hd and power required to run the pump p is equal to gamma q theoretical into h this is solution solution so first find area area is equal to pi by 4 into d square that is equal to pi by 4 into 0.2 square which is equal to 0.3 meter square then theoretical discharge q theoretical is equal to a l n divided by 60 that is equal to 0.03141 into length 0.3 into n 50 divided by 60 so q theoretical is equal to 0.00785398 meter cube per second meter cube per second now second is slip so slip s is equal to slip is equal to q theoretical minus q actual that is 0.00785398 minus 0.00736 so slip s is equal to 0.004939 meter cube per second so this is slip now third one is power power required to run the pump so p is equal to gamma q theoretical into h so first find h h is equal to hs plus hd so 3.5 plus 11.5 so 
which is equal to 15 meter so now p is equal to gamma q theoretical into h gamma is 9810 into q theoretical 0.00785398 into h 15 meter so power p is equal to 1155.7131 Watt in kilowatt divided by 1000 so 1.1557 kilowatt is the required power.